Hello, I'm Meli for edu for java and this is tutorial number 5 of Spring Framework. I call it Beans Creation. Ok, let's summarize the characteristics of Spring, which we have seen until now. Spring is an object container. The objects contained by Spring are called Beans. It would be a beans container. Beans are normally objects, are normal objects. When we use Spring, uh, we configure the objects which go inside the container in an XML. If you remember from the tutorial number 3, we created an XML and we defined there, the beans or the objects which are going to be contained in the Spring container. Spring creates the objects. In the last tutorial, we created a small container and we saw that from an dot properties we could create objects. Spring does the same but from an XML. It reads the XML, it looks for the defined objects in the XML and it creates them. With a class loader, new instance and it creates the objects after creating the objects. Spring injects values in the objects. As we had seen in the last example, we inject in a property in a class with a set. We inject values. Spring also can manage injection by construction. We haven't seen it yet. After this summary, let's take a look in more detail at what can Spring do. I have created a new package, tutorial 5, and inside I've put a main. This main creates a context variable with the same class path XML application context which we had used in tutorial number 3. We use it to create a Spring container. This container is going to be created with the beans defined in this file. This class works with class path and I'm telling him whether context.xml is rela relative to the class path. Here I'm saying that it's inside com edu for Java Spring Tutorial 5. Why? Because this XML is inside the package. If you remember, a package in Java is a file sequence and in this way we are referring to this file this one inside this container which will end up here I have a bean defined which is a class footer for sign I can do containers in a text dot get bean and I can recover this class the class which is under the name footer for sign this one once I receive I can use it here for example I use it to call a method get footer for sign here I have a class footer for sign this class is quite simple and it has two properties and it writes what you usually um, need to sign the name, the date, and the place.
It has two properties, which is set name and its set place to initialize them and you have the opportunity to in initialize them with an empty constructor or with a constructor using name and place as parameters. We have both ways of loading the two properties through this construction constructor or using the normal constructor and doing afterwards set and set and then use it. As you can see, can see in the main, we don't know how it was created. The one who makes the new and the ones with, who is going to load all the needed data is the Spring container. How it is going to load them is defined in the XML. Let's look at, at context.xml. This configuration file normally starts with a tag with a tag called beans. This uh, tag defines a schema. It is an XML schema. The schema we are going to use is this one. This is the name of the Spring Schema and we'll define what is valid and what isn't inside this XML. Here I define the bean from the class footer for sign. I am defining a bean which will be called footer for sign with a lowercase and which will correspond to this class. What is Spring going to do? It is going to do a new instance of this class and it's going to put into a hash, hash map with this name. When I ask for it, it is going to send me back the object I created and here we can see two properties, name and place with these tag properties. With these tag properties we are putting in the name property edu. Spring is going to get this class which was created and it's going to look for a set name method and it's going to insert this value edu and the same for place it is going to look for a set place and it will insert this value if we take a look here we have a set, a set name and a set place these are going to insert the properties if we go back to the main we can see Uh, if we run it, we can see the result. We create the context, we then ask the context for the bean. And when all the values are loaded, we ask to print on the screen the result of the get footer for sign. Let's, let's try it. Here it is. Edu which was what I wrote, the time and the place. Okay, this is one way to define a bean. We can use another shorter way. Shift Ctrl C to comment and to quick comment. This other way is to put attributes inside the tags instead of putting a tag value. Name and value. I quit the comments here. I'm going to comment again here. I run as. And we have the same result. I'm going to change something so that you can see. And here it is. This is with set. We had uh, done this before, we can also do it through a constructor. Here I have prepared a call through a constructor. Shift Ctrl F to tidy it up and here you can see. And here you can see that to call a constructor is all the same. We define a bean but instead of putting properties we put um, a tag constructor R and inside we put the value and the two values. 
the other has to be the same as um, in the construction. We are going to go through this construction which is going to match in types and in names. Let's run it. And here we have the same. As in the past, we can use a shorter way of doing the same thing. To write this. As you can see, we can write an attribute value instead of an internal value tag. Let's try and see the same. There's another even shorter way, but we have to add an XML namespace. We have already talked about that, that this is the definition of the structure, the definition of the structure by Spring, but we can add more definitions. In this case, we can add this definition Spring Framework Org Schema P. We add a namespace P. And afterwards, we can refer to it internally. If we do this, we can use <coughs> something like this. P name, which will be like calling property name and directly we can put in this attribute p name edu of the bean footer for sign and the same for place this is in another xml so if we want to try we should go to main change this for context 2 to use um, this one and we can try it to be sure we're using this one i'm going to put a dot Okay, let's run it again. Here it is. With this, we have already seen how the Spring Framework works. Also, the um, injection with properties and the injection with construction. See you in the next tutorial.